It's been really come out sparking. They just need something now, Tazzy, to drop. Game high, nine point lead. Kelly buries the deep one. Overhand. Sometimes you just got to pat them on the button to say, great job, great shot. Doyle at the other end with a quick response. Lovely replay. Lovely thanks to our friends at Amy. Doyle oh, snatched it out of Cadiz's hands and Kenyon one into the other. Some little sneaky hops from Matt Kenyon as well. Here's Matt Kenyon on this last play. He was pretty happy with it, I think. Well, he loves this gym. We know when he played here, I think it was last year, he hit that beautiful shot in the corner there. So, you know, if he gets going, he can hurt him. But they're really playing good basketball. Now they've just got to do what they can do on the defensive end and get stops. That's just tough. Kenyon's been good in this third quarter now, up to 10 points. Only one of two Tasmanian players in double figures. There's the other. Doyle has 20. They have, they have, and they're starting to get the fans involved, which is really important for them and their energy. Johnson blocked by Kelly. Out the game as well, so shout out to Josh and to Jeff watching in. But listening into the huddle there with Brisbane, and it was just a case of the defensive. And Brad, Milton Doyle, superb. He's up to 22 now. He's had a huge say this afternoon. McVeigh might be the man to have a bigger say, though. They need to establish what they want to get out of it and get it inside. Yeah, they one of their last seven for three. It just hasn't been the second half for them. They need to start getting back. And that's what they've done. You've got to give credit to the coach, too. He's changed this in the second half and really got them going. Weeks. Yes! Here on Sunday Hoops, Jared Weeks nails this three and makes it a six-point lead for Tasmania. 65-62 at My State Bank Arena. Doyle. They're going to love them by every single part of that. Continue to trade blows. McVeigh rolls to the basket. Nice set. And you just force it into one-on-one -on -one like we've got going on now. Doyle found a way to the basket and scores. As you'll see here, and then Jared didn't really do anything, but it just made them think, what's going on here? And it just changed up, Ryan. Yeah, it just created a bit of confusion. They didn't know if they were switching. If done. Shot clock at seven. They are a long way from the basket. Time for Rashad Kelly to oh, step up. Wow. Wow. He was down there, and he just steps up. He's just going to have a look, I think, if that's a three. Definitely look like his foot was behind the three point. And then you've got a foul straight away. Or try and cause a turnover. Johnson up the floor immediately. 